What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Ali Lynette. It's your girl Lily Lynette and I'm back with a another video. Another video. And for those of y'all who are new, this is your first time to my channel. Hello, my name is Aaliyah Lynette. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I recommend you go back and watch some of them because they're really cool. But if you're just here for this specific video, that's cool too. But today we're going to be talking about how to build and maintain good credit, great credit, excellent credit. <sighs> I know some of y'all are probably learning. But this video is basically going to be targeted for my 18 plus group. I'm sorry to anybody who's 18, not 18, 17 and younger and you were looking to build your credit. You can still watch this video. I highly encourage you to still watch this video. 18 and plus are the people who can apply to banks and credit unions and all of that good stuff. And that's the minimum age banks require you to be to do any of that. If you don't have a parent, if your bank allows you to be under 18 and still open a credit card or any type of account with a parent, or guardians permission then by all means still watch this video and take tips and notes without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay before you even think about a credit card if you don't have like an account with the bank opened or anything i'd recommend you know opening an account with one of your local banks the first question i would ask yourself is why do you want a credit card why do you want to apply for a credit card do all of that get into that that's a really big step so you just want to kind of sit back and decipher and ask yourself okay well why do i want to open up credit card account why do i want a credit card do you want to apply for a loan do you want to see if you can just get the money or do you actually want to get a credit card so you can start being serious about building your credit find a good bank oh my gosh that is super important finding a bank that you vibe with that you get along well with is good i personally tried numerous banks i tried chase bank no shades of chase but the chase bank that i did go to they were super like i did not mix well like they act like they were better than like me not like like my but they just act like oh you gotta have credit already you gotta have this and that they will basically seem like the type of bank that if you already have good experience with other banks that you just come there to open up another account it didn't seem like a first starter but first starter bank so i did not vibe with chase i didn't vibe with capital one and wells fargo i just heard a whole bunch of stuff i didn't really vibe with wells fargo either i decided on going with bank of america bank of america was super 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 duper cool i went to two different banks in my area and both times that i went the uh, people the staff they were super friendly and they helped me out i also love the way it's set up bank of america it's easy to use they have a mobile banking app it's just way more convenient for me also go in and meet the people when you're looking for a bank this is going to be your home like this is where you're holding your money like you want to make sure that this place is legit you know go in get a vibe of the place get a feel of everything and you do go in if you talk to a representative or anybody make sure you ask questions ask any questions you have whether they sound dumb anything you want to know talk to a representative or a person there because they know they work there and if they don't know they can figure it out for you because I'm pretty sure you'll ask a question that they've never even been asked so ask questions set up either a checking account or a saving account I'd recommend just doing that just to start off like you don't want to just go straight into a credit card I don't even think you can just go into a credit card if you haven't been with the bank for a certain amount of time I'm not too sure it depends I suggest doing that first so you can make sure that you can actually like keep up with that account and keep up with putting money in there having a good source of income flowing through there do your research i know i said find a bank all of that but once you have the bank you do all that you've been with them for a little minute i'd wait a little bit before you just like i said go in and apply for the credit card do your research if you don't know anything about credit cards ask your parents aunt uncle friend friend of the family like anybody you know with good credit don't ask somebody with bad credit how to build credit or somebody who doesn't have credit don't do that don't trap yourself set you off a of failure there's a reason they have bad credit because they don't know what they're doing you can learn what not to do from them but don't take like actual tips and advice on how to build your credit like take it from somebody good watch some youtube videos i learned a lot about credit by watching youtube videos and stuff like that because I'm not gonna lie nobody in my family has good credit the majority of my family has pretty much like bad credit i think pretty much the only one or only people in my family that have good credit is my godmother and i think my aunt but her credit was kind of bad so she's like rebuilding hers but those are the only two people i know and i would take advice from on like credit and stuff like that but 
yeah anyways look into things on your own like if you have questions google them google can get kind of confusing because like you'll ask questions and you get you'll get like 30,000 different responses and it just gets overwhelming and confusing like i said when you go to the bank ask questions all those questions you have about credit ask them also know that there are many different types of credit cards they have travel rewards credit cards which basically they give you points on flights and when you book your flights and hotels and all that good stuff they have cash back rewards or cash rewards where they basically they give you certain qualifications and stuff they give you cash back on the purchases that you make which is pretty cool in my opinion i was gonna do cash back <laughs> Oh, also travel rewards. That is the credit card that I have now. I am signed up with a, a travel rewards credit card. So basically like a win-win because it's like I'm getting points for like whenever I travel, flights, hotel, bookings, and all that stuff. And I'm still building my building my credit at the same time. That's what I like. You can get like a basic credit card, but I was I just want to go straight into it because I love traveling. Usually travel a lot, so I was like, why not get discounts and stuff like that and start building points? Another one is gas rewards. Whenever you use your credit card at the AT at the gas Not the gas machine they give you back money basically for pumping gas there instead of going up to the clerk person Can I get 20 old pump whatever they also have a student credit card which is basically good for like beginner students 17 plus I think or 18 college students basically starting credit pretty good for students like that or people like that if you're young trying to start out credit it gives you a very small credit limit so you don't spend crazy because I know if I were to get a lot of money, I think I would. If before I had a credit card, I think I'd be like, "Ooh, I'm getting all this money. I'm gonna spend it all." But like now that I have a credit card, I'm just like, "Let's keep the balance like low, pay it all, build that credit, girl, home girl, sister." And another one that they have is secured cards. Secured cards are specifically for people who have low credit who are trying to like rebuild their credit. Since the bank, I'm not gonna say doesn't trust you, but doesn't trust you, you have to put money into the account, and that is your set limit. So, for example, if you give three hundred dollars or put three hundred dollars on a secure card, that is your money. That you're reliable for that, and that's your limit. They want to see if you can pay back with your own money before they trust you with the money from the bank or the credit union or wherever you get the money or the loan or any of that stuff from they say credit unions are a good place to start at but personally i didn't go with the credit union first the first thing that i went with is straight to the bank my mom tried to get me to go with the credit union and i just was not feeling it i wanted to be more with like a typical bank i do plan on keeping the credit card that i have for a while now just one credit card i don't plan on opening with the credit union anytime soon i'm not saying i never will i'm just saying as far as like doing that i'm not gonna apply or do anything else with the credit card for a while i'm just gonna keep the one i have build good credit and then i'll go from there after you've done all of the tips I, I've listed before, go ahead and apply for the credit card that you want, decide for which one will be good for you, and just basically go from there. And if you don't get the exact one that you wanted, that's okay. I'd wait a few months to go ahead and try again if you get denied. Just wait, just be patient. All of that credit, it's a process. You gotta have patience and self-discipline. Depending on the, the bank or the credit union, that's why I said open up a checking account or savings account so they can see how you are with your money. And that kind of determines like what the limit is that they're gonna give you. Are they gonna give you a thousand? dollar limit an 800 dollar limit 500 200 like you don't know it just depends on what they feel comfortable with giving you and loaning out to you and i kind of look at it as like it's not your money like it's like you're borrowing that money and you want to give it back like you want to be responsible don't be on that scam and stuff like if somebody gives you money be responsible wise and just pay it back like don't be all over the place if you're not organized no you're not going to be responsible with the credit card i would just like not even waste your time it's better to have no credit than to waste your time building up bad credit in my personal opinion when applying they just ask for like some basic information like your name source of income social security number all of that personal stuff like this is serious so like if it includes your social you know it's serious and you don't want to mess up anything that includes my social or my serious personal information i do not play around with so and it typically takes about seven seven to ten business days depending on what bank you're with my credit card came in like literally a week after i had applied they sent me an email saying that i got approved for it and then they also sent me a letter in the mail with additional information okay and if you do get accepted for the credit card that you wanted yay you made it you're a baller i'm just kidding now this this is the interesting part. The interesting part comes next after you get accepted for the credit card that you apply for. Spend your money wisely. Like, I cannot stress that enough. Y'all hear me. This is Leo Lynette telling y'all spend your money wisely if you do get a credit card don't overspend like i said for example if they give you, they gave me an 800 dollars limit i did not spend that full 800 dollars. it was my first time so i was like you know i'm ball out a little bit i did spend under this before i knew about the 30 percent thing which i'm gonna get to in a minute i was about to spend almost all of it but i didn't i 
stayed just under that 30% mark by like this much and I was like whoo it's really looking out for me so don't spend all of your money if you know you can't pay it back don't be spending it all if you know you can pay it all back cool but still don't spend it all now we're going to the 30% rule 30% so if Okay, my credit card limit is $800. Uh, I spend less than 30%. 30% mark for me is I think like $530. Don't quote me on that. So that's like my max that I can go with it. So they give you a limit, but you can't spend all of it. I know it's stupid. I thought the same thing. I was like, y'all give me all of this money, but you mean to tell me I can't use all of it? Yes, that's exactly what they're telling you. They give you the money to see what you're gonna do if you're gonna be responsible and not use all of it. It's basically kind of trick. They kind of set you up for failure to see if you're gonna be smart about it. But I'm basically putting y'all on game telling y'all don't fall for the trick if they give y'all a limit don't use the full limit only use 30 percent of that limit got it good like i said it shows that they can see that oh she can manage her money Ooh, we give her all this money i know she's tempted but is she gonna use all of it no she only used 30 percent or less than 30 percent oh she's good we got her man we might raise her credit limit in a little bit also i recommend when you do use your card wisely use it for small purchases for example gas food lift little small stuff that you use little knickknacks i personally use mine for like when i have to like lift somewhere or i don't uber food and then like very very small 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 purchases like chapstick or gum or i don't know just random stuff hair ties like i don't know and I always stay under my limit 30% or less. I usually don't even use like 30%. I usually use way under that just depending on where my money is going for the month, what I know I can spend, what I can't spend. You really just gotta kind of decipher and learn how to manage your money, your finances, figure out where your money's going, where your money's going to each month, what do you have to pay, prioritize. Credit card bill is important, but if you know you can't pay a lot back on your credit card, like I said, like if you have to purchase something, use it with your credit card and then pay it back so you don't have to pay with cash and then figure out what to use your credit card on, you know? Just gotta think wisely and smart about it. Pay your bill on time. Pay your credit card bill on time. Do not pay your credit card bill late. Don't do it. Please do not do it. When it comes time to pay your bill, you basically have payment due date that's when the bill must be paid that's the day they want the money you got to transfer it either have the money in the credit card account or transfer it from another account total minimum about total total minimum amount total minimum amount due which is the smallest amount that you have to pay on the bill i don't really know how that works because i never pay the minimum amount i usually just pay the whole credit card bill in full and then you have the closing date that is when they basically send your credit card bill and information off to equifax and transunion which are two big credit bureaus that are really important you don't want to start getting you know you want to stay on the good side of them and like i said just pay your bill on time saves you the stress gets you out of the way you don't have to worry about minimum payment paying this full back like just pay it leave it done oh you can also do automatic auto payments like where they automatically take it out and pay the bill for you i usually stop like using my card a few days before my bill is about to be due because it for my bank personally it takes a few days for all of my transactions to process so i don't like to touch it after all my transactions to process i give it like a few days and then i pay the bill so i know nothing random is gonna pop up on there and let me tell y'all late payments like if you cannot pay your credit card bill just don't use your credit card like if you just use your credit card for stuff and you know you can't pay back like don't do that that's setting yourself up for failure and that defeats the whole purpose of building credit like just spend what you can pay back like if you can't pay it back then you shouldn't be spending it and if you know you can't pay your credit card bill back i would advise not applying for a credit card late payments or not paying at all really like fucks up your credit score so even one little missed payment one day behind even if you forgot you oh well i was gonna do you forgot nope that's gonna like mess up your credit i know that sounds like harsh that's the reality like these these people want their money on time they don't want to play no games none of that like it's it's straight business download credit karma credit karma is basically a free app that offers transition and equifax credit data so like i mentioned those two earlier those are two big credit bureaus basically where all your credit information gets sent they're the people who manage your credit score how many points your credit score goes up by and if you're in good condition with your banks and whoever you have credit cards or loans or any of that from you'll be hearing a lot from them they basically update everything like your bank who you have the credit card with but your bank sends that to them like they're like the top of the top in charge of everything so yeah check every now and then on your score you don't have to check your credit score every single day good thing with credit karma is it doesn't lower your score i used to hear like when i was growing up like if you were to check your credit score it would lower it but i thought that was stupid but with credit karma it's really good because you can check it as much as you please but i would just recommend checking it like once every few weeks twice a month once every other week stuff like that like not every single day it only updates every i think seven days every seven days it updates so yeah no need to check in it every single day if 
it's gonna be the same. When you are checking it, make sure everything looks correct. Make sure nothing looks fishy. If something looks suspicious or not right, make sure you contact your bank immediately or contact um, the credit bureau so you can get all of that solved out. Because if you do see something, nine times out of 10, if you do see something weird, it's either one, a mistake, but number two also could be like identity theft or fraudulent, somebody trying to tap into your information which you don't want. You're working hard to build this credit score. The last thing that you wanna do is have somebody like steal all your information and your hard work, hard earned credit building. Also be careful what you apply for. For example, what was this Forever 21? They, it was like a back to school thing. It was probably when I was like 16 and I didn't have any credit at 16 obviously, but they basically needed like the last four digits of my social and they check like my credit and stuff. And she didn't say anything about like any of it. Like I'm 16, I didn't, mind you, I didn't used to believe in credit. So I didn't care. I was like, okay, check it. I didn't know it had anything to do with my credit. But when I finally got credit card and I started getting to my credit, I realized that this left a hard inquiry on my credit, on my credit report. And I'm just like, mm, that itty bitty check, that's a three minutes left a heart in inquiry on my credit report for two years so be careful what you apply for when you're at places are like oh do you want to apply for this and don't do it unless you really need it legit and even if you do do it make sure you know like is this gonna mess with my credit is what have like what is the um consequences of this because sometimes if it sounds like too good to be true it is too good to be true and you don't want to hurt your credit over stuff that didn't really need to be and that can last up to two years depending on how many you have so yeah be careful don't get comfortable don't be like okay ooh, i'm paying off my do that's how i am right now but you can always be improving never know what can happen i like, always got to stay alert and aware of pretty much everything continue to show your bank that you're responsible you're legit and you know how to manage your money they see that like i said earlier they'll probably offer you a higher credit limit balance probably like a thousand or something i don't know like just depends. But yeah oh and just to throw this in there i know i was mentioning like the types of credit cards apple recently i think probably about about a year ago or a few months to a year ago came out with the new apple card which you can also use for like credit it's like a credit card but it's with apple i thought that's pretty cool i don't know i just rather be with like a regular bank i just feel like that's kind of risky but i do know someone who had the apple card and they said they use it fine just like a regular credit card and they can use credit karma too to check it it's basically just like a regular credit card instead of being with the bank it's just with apple so yeah i know that's another option out there <sighs> i know this is a lot to adjust but just take a deep breath just <sighs> take a deep breath it's not complicated it's only complicated if you make it complicated do the research apply spend your money wisely make on-time payments and just keep up with your credit score think smart and wise make good decisions with your money because this is your money at the end of the day it reflects on you like i work hard for my money all of that like i'm not like all um, money oriented money's money it comes and goes but this is a reflection of me this is a reflection of me getting older take responsibility so i look at this as a serious thing this is your name this is your money Money, this is you like a part of you so you want to make sure you're responsible with it like I said I used to think credit scores were stupid like why do you have to have a score to determine if you're good enough to buy this or that or just save up and buy cash which I still do agree on I still do save up well not I don't really carry cash on me because are weird people are weird but yeah i used to not believe in it but as i got older i started doing my research knew it and i'm the type of person like i said my credit my family don't really have good credit i'm the type of person i want to be in the position to where if i want to walk in here buy this car buy this house buy furniture or anything like i want to be able to get approved for it whenever i apply for it i want to get approved on the spot that's the type of position i want to be in so i was like I'm gonna build my credit and have good credit and I have to worry about none of that. But without further ado, I hope y'all really learned something from this video, took something. And yeah, and I pray that it takes y'all. I hope that it takes y'all far. And yeah, if y'all like more videos talking about like stuff like this, just let me know because I wouldn't be doing a video if it didn't apply to me. Like I have a credit card, I know. And if y'all have questions about credit, ask me, do your research. Yeah, y'all, thanks for watching this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you made it to the end, you're a real one. If you wanna build your credit, good luck. I wish y'all the best of luck. Without further ado, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down more videos that y'all wanna see me do down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.